8 Investment Styles for Those Who Want or Are Just Starting to Invest If you are ready to start entering the global investment world, you should remember that there is no one technique that can be applied to every investment, that is, different techniques are needed and based on different types of investments, each and according to the actual situation. Before jumping into the world, you should answer these questions to make sure it runs smoothly and in line with your desired investment goals. Do you prefer high-risk or low-risk investments? The general rules of investing are high-risk, high-profit, and low-risk, low-return, but the rate of loss can also be high or low depending on its risk level. Do you aim to make a profit in the long or short term? Do you want to start your own business or do you need an investment advisor? 1. Active Investment In investing, you can choose to do it regularly or be an occasional working investor. Active investment refers to an investor who is less willing to take risks, as he is willing to monitor and conduct daily investment transactions, such as in the stock market, buying and selling foreign currencies, buying and selling gold, buying and selling oil. If you enjoy daily investing, this style of investing is for you, but you need to be able to see and analyze stock prices and analyze the fluctuations of the assets you want to invest in. For some Cambodians who have a lot of money, they only look at the exchange rate of the Khmer Riel against the US dollar, yuan, Thai baht and other currencies, which he is sure to buy at a low price and resell when it goes up. They can make thousands of dollars a day. 2. Passive or Horizontal Investment If you are a risk taker who does not want to sit in front of a computer or phone on a regular basis, you can opt for this investment style. Sleep investing means looking at long-term profits, as he does not spend time monitoring his investment operations on a regular basis. In contrast to active investors, sleep investors have more time to do things and they create their entire portfolio management system that manages many small and different investments. For example, they invest in CDs, take interest, bank deposits, invest in building houses for rent, invest in stocks for dividends, invest in investment funds, start businesses by hiring professionals to manage them. All this means that no matter what he walks, sleeps, sits or does anything, the money still runs to him when it comes to collecting those profits. 3. Investing to make a profit by increasing the value of any asset. This style of investment is generally focused on investing in real estate and stocks. In order to make a high profit, they buy land in a potential area where they understand that the land in that area will increase in value and sell it for a profit when it happens. They buy shares in a company with a low price, and they can analyze that the price of those shares will increase significantly through the growth of the company's profit and the stability of its growth. This investment style is preferred by Warren Buffett and Masayoshi Son. 4. Investment is based on evaluating the future of a company's business operations. Similar to the third style above, the fourth style investors are always looking at the stock market and looking for companies that are rated below the actual market and they will buy it before it goes up in price. 5. Market Capitalization Investor in this style refers to an investor who selects a stock based on the size of the company. The market cap, also known as the market cap, is calculated by multiplying the number of shares in a company's market by its profit margin per share. Small-scale companies with market capitalization range from $300 million to $2 billion. Medium-sized companies have a market capitalization of $2 billion to $10 billion. Large companies have a market capitalization of more than $10 billion US dollars. Shares of companies with small market value are always more risky than companies with large market value. Big companies can always make a lot of money, but the loss rate is also high. On the contrary, most of those companies are long-lived, strong and stable. Most people choose to buy shares in big companies because of the regular and stable dividends. 6. Invest money, buy and save. This style is similar to the second style, with this type of investor always thinking of long-term profit, they buy any assets such as stocks or real estate at a low price and leave it for a long time until it reaches the highest price, then they sell to make a profit bury the cloud. 7. Invest in investment funds. This style is also gradually starting to be available in Cambodia, 
but when it comes to funds or foreign investment companies that come to do business in Cambodia, there are now many. This type of investment is low risk because the capital raised for resale is invested in different sectors. Before you decide to invest in any investment fund, you should check the history of the regulators, their legitimacy and how they use and spend in that fund. 8. Diversified Investment To reduce investment risk, not all money is put into one sector, that is, investment money is divided into different categories. For example, investing in a tech company is risky, and if you invest all your money in one tech company, you may lose all your money, but if you divide your money into two or three portions, you can invest in three different tech companies. That company, if you make a loss, you can still make a profit. In addition to allocating money to invest in technology companies, you should also allocate some money to invest in manufacturers for consumer goods, because manufacturers have less risk than technology companies.